Hi everyone, I'm Finola Howard uh, from How Great Marketing Works and today I want to share with you my three tips for successful planning in 2020. And as you know, it's planning season and of course you might also know that we have a live webinar this evening about how to plan for success when you just hate planning. But today in advance of that, I want to give you a little snapshot or a little insight I suppose, or perhaps even a by the way of three simple tips that I have for you to help you plan more successfully, okay? So, number one, and I have to share with you because the way I like to do my lives is I have my little prompts and I like to share them with you and this is my best way <laughs> to explain it for you. So the, my first tip for you for successful planning today and this year is the best plan is simple. So please do not overcomplicate it. I think too often we are very uh, much in love with these big in-depth plans that are highly complicated. And often if they're too big, they'll sit on a shelf somewhere and nobody will ever read it more than once. What we want is a plan that is capable of action. And a plan that's capable of action is one that is simple. So keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. And my tip to help you not overcomplicate it is to understand that if you can't explain it, if you can't explain that plan, if you cannot explain that plan, then you cannot deliver it. As I fumble over my words, so even I couldn't explain that. So the best plan is simple. Don't overcomplicate it. And if you find you cannot explain it, then there's something wrong. Okay. Tip number one. Tip number two, it must bring you closer to achieving your vision. Because what else is it for? This is why we're here. Too often, we maybe often in startups that there is a sense that a vision is too ambiguous, a vision is too lofty, but in fact, it's possibly the most grounded piece of your plan possible. And if you bring your vision to life in your plan, then your plan has the passion behind it to make it capable of success. If you don't incorporate your vision into your plan, and if your plan is not designed to achieve your vision, then what's the point? What's the point in the struggle? What's the point in your business? Because otherwise you're just creating a self-perpetuating hamster wheel. We have purpose in our businesses. So when we plan for our businesses, our plan must match or must help us bring us closer to achieving that vision. That's tip number two. Tip number three, really important. It must be capable of delivery. It must be possible. It must not be filled with should. I should be able to do that. Or I should do this. Or I should do that. I should talk to those people. I should be doing more networking. I should be doing less of this. I should be doing more of that. What we want is a plan that we can deliver on. That we can turn our shoulds into cans. Because when we turn our shoulds into we can, then we turn we can into our will. And when we turn and we can, we will, then we transform that into we've done it. So I hope you enjoyed my three successful tips for planning. And I hope that you join me this evening at six o'clock Irish time. And if you haven't registered, just click on the button at the top right hand side of your screen or the link that's in this post. Have a great day, everyone. Looking forward to talking to you later.